Greetings. Today, we will talk about the terrible crimes of Japan during the World War II. You will learn why Japanese brothels were created in the occupied territories, what is Drug 606, and for what purpose it was given to pregnant women, and whether it is true that one of the most terrible crimes of the land of the rising sun hides until now. Be sure to watch the video to the very end to learn all the shocking details. Shocking in its inhumanity to this day. Very soon, it will be 80 years since the end of the World War II. However, all the horrors and crimes of that large-scale conflict do not subside to this day. It is written about in books and articles, shown on TV screens, and veterans are ready once again to share many details of that period. In addition to Germany, there were several other states that supported the ideology of the Nazis, and one of these allies was the Empire of Japan. For sure, you probably guess about the Japanese crimes, but you do not have a broader idea about the atrocities of this army. It is important to note that such crimes were massive and aimed at humiliating the honour and dignity of man. Especially civilians in the occupied territories and prisoners of war suffered. Did you know that prisoners of war were forced to march up to 100 kilometres? It is unreal to imagine the agony people were experiencing at that time. During such marches, the victims were often not given water and food, and the climatic conditions, unbearable heat, worsened the human condition. It is only natural that one did not survive in such conditions. Those who could not both physically and mentally continue such an arduous journey were destroyed by the Japanese. In addition to the cruel treatment of people, the Japanese during the World War II decided to create so-called comfort stations. In essence, these are the same brothels, but they were not only specific, but also very cruel and intimidating. Girls and women in such places rarely survived. Let us consider this issue in more detail. The device, specificity and purpose of Japanese comfort stations. Unfortunately, to get a complete picture of the brothels of the land of the rising sun at the moment is not possible. This is due to the fact that the Japanese at that time tried to eliminate any information along with other sources. Plus, the Japanese government wished not to recognise such a crime during the military conflict. Nevertheless, there is still information, thanks to which it is possible to imagine the horror that was going on in the comfort houses. We will return to the question of declassification of these places, but later. So, comfort stations were created on the order of the Emperor of the Japanese Empire in the territories occupied by soldiers. It is also important that such brothels began to function in 1932 and continued to operate until the end of World War II. There is no exact and official data on the number of comfort houses to date but it is known for sure that there were more than 400 of them. Such institutions were ordinary barracks, each of which housed 10 people. The age of the female audience was from 11 to 30 years old. Also, comfort stations were divided into three groups, commercial, public, and at the disposal of military personnel only. You may ask, did these establishments exclusively employ Japanese girls and women? Alas, not exclusively. Initially, brothels experienced a shortage of their female workers. This is understandable. Few Japanese women agreed to go to a place where it is necessary to constantly satisfy the physiological needs of soldiers. Although initially, the Japanese government expected that the brothels would go voluntarily. Because of the shortage of Japanese women, it was decided not only to recruit women of easy behaviour, but also to kidnap them. In the first case, Japanese brothels were lured by luxurious conditions and high wages, and they did not talk about prostitution, but mentioned other professions, seamstresses, maids. Unfortunately, many people fell for such tricks. As for the kidnapping of girls and women, the Japanese targeted nearby eastern countries. First, they started kidnapping people from China. In this case, they chose Shanghai and then from Korea, Taiwan, etc. There was nothing the victims could do about it. In addition to all of the above, some poor families, out of desperation, personally sold girls to the Japanese to earn a livelihood. 
finally, comfort stations were solely for the purpose of feeding the soldiers of their army. Except that such institutions became a real hell for girls and women during the World War II years. What really happened in Japanese brothels? As you remember, all unnecessary information about the events in the comfort stations was tried to destroy. And if they did that, they really hid a lot of things. Before we go to all the details of the horrors in the brothels, let us draw your attention to the justification of the Japanese government. The authorities assured others that in this way it was possible not only to avoid mass rapes in the captured areas, but also to prevent the risk of spreading venereal diseases among the soldiers. Except that the rapes continued anyway. And now let's finally find out what not only a 30-year-old woman had to experience, but also a very young girl of 11. Once again, we are convinced of the inhumanity of the ally of the Third Reich. First, the number of soldiers served. Initially, each girl and woman had to satisfy the needs, serve 30 people per day. However, then the bar was raised two times. Secondly, inhuman attitude to the female sex. In Japanese brothels, honour, conscience and morality were in the very last place, if at all. Girls and women were regularly beaten, abused, and even committed acts that led to death. For example, even for the slightest disobedience or misbehavior could behead the victim with a sword. They also conducted countless experiments on the unfortunate for the needs of Japanese achievements. Many victims themselves ended their lives when they could not cope psychologically. For example, with the help of an opium overdose, a rope with a noose, and a bullet fired during a headshot. Again, it was almost unrealistic to survive under such conditions. Third, the cruelty to pregnant women. If for one reason or another the victim had to become pregnant, the Japanese got rid of the fetus as soon as possible. For this purpose, drug 606 was used, which was ordinary arsenic. The increased dose was then administered to the pregnant women, which had extremely negative consequences for the female body up to and including miscarriage. In some cases, the mothers of unborn children died along with the fetus. Of course, every day Japanese women and women of other nationalities underwent medical examinations. Actually, the usual procedure for any brothel aimed at detecting venereal diseases. It would seem a very humane profession at all times. Alas, the Japanese too have failed. Even Japanese doctors treated the victims of comfort houses disrespectfully and insolently. They still don't admit their guilt. Current residents of China, Korea, Taiwan and other Asian countries have not forgotten the crimes that were committed during the World War II. The issue of Japanese brothels remains open to this day. Why open? because the land of the rising sun does not want to recognize everything that happened during the existence of comfort stations. Surprisingly, in the early noughties, it came to a tribunal. The people demanded the Japanese government to tell the truth and admit their guilt. After a few more years, the Japanese prime minister finally spoke out. Only this time, he made it clear that there was not enough evidence of involvement in such a crime. Such a speech caused public outcry and discontent, and rightly so, people can be understood. Until now, Japan has been demanded not just an apology, but full compensation. It's a sad outcome. Get ready. It's time to summarize all of the above and sound statistical data. Japanese brothels in the amount of at least 400 pieces operated in the occupied territories for 13 years, from 1932 to 1945. The number of girls and women who went through such an ordeal is 410,000 people. They mostly came from China, Korea, Taiwan, and even the Soviet Union. By 1945, only 25% of the total number had survived.